What sets the PWS system apart from a standard mil-spec end plate is the ratchet lock mechanism. The teeth on the ratchet lock prevent the castle nut from backing out due to vibration, making it a secure installation. With a torque range of 40 foot-pounds, no staking is necessary. This feature ensures easy and reliable assembly while preventing the need for extra tools or adjustments. Installing the PWS Enhanced Buffer Tube, Castle Nut, and End Plate is a simple and straightforward process. Follow these easy steps for a successful installation. Before starting, make sure to clean the threads on both the buffer tube and the castle nut. This ensures there is no debris that could interfere with proper fitment and lockup during the installation. Begin by inserting the takedown pin. On the back end of the lower receiver, insert the detent, followed by the takedown spring. This will engage the detent, allowing the takedown pin to lock in place. Once the detent is set, set the spring aside. Screw the castle nut onto the buffer tube, sliding it all the way to the back. Next, slide the end plate on, ensuring the PWS logo is facing outward, away from the lower receiver. Thread the buffer tube into place until the lips of the buffer tube align with the edge of the lower receiver. Once aligned, back it off by half a turn. Using a punch, hold down the buffer retaining pin and spring as you rotate the buffer tube into place until it locks in with the buffer lips. At this point, reinsert the spring you set aside earlier, securing it with the end plate. While holding the end plate flush against the lower receiver, tighten the castle nut by hand. Once it's firm, use a castle nut wrench to bring it to 40 foot-pounds. For more tips and guides, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more PWS content.